Hello folks, my name is Sam Mitchell and I'm going to be your host at the Bugs in a Jar Farm and I just wanted to take this opportunity when I had this place to myself to give you a quick overview of your options at Bugs in a Jar and what to expect when you get here. The first thing, I just want to make sure you understand what it's going to look like is this little cabin. Look for the bear on the roof or the white Christmas tree lights at night. And when you arrive, I'm gonna ask you to please just park out along the road. You'll see this green fence along the road. If you could just park along here and honk your horn and someone will come out and find you. So uh, let's just go on a brief tour of what to expect when you get here. So this is the nerve center. Uh, so if you ever need anything, just come a holler and someone will come find you. Uh, so let's start with the community area. Around the back of the house, there is a community kitchen, which is shared by everybody. The folks in the trailer will have a little bit of a kitchen, but most people will be sharing this community kitchen. And, you know, we have the nice dining table. We have a gas grill. We have a little uh, propane camp stove, a refrigerator, a toaster oven, a couple of coffee makers, and the sink, and there's pots and pans behind the curtain. Should be everything you need. Uh, if you need anything else, just holler and we can help you out. Uh, so the bathroom that everybody shares uh, in the anywhere you are, if you need the bathroom, the bathroom is right in, to the left of the kitchen, just behind the green door. So you are sharing this. So just knock on the door and uh, you will find where Jackson Pollock uh, painted our bathroom. But we have a nice hot shower, a flush toilet. The password is, the internet password is on the uh, bathroom mirror. So that is the community kitchen and bathroom that folks share. So let's start out with... Uh, quick view of the tiny house. Uh, so obviously the uh, tiny house is, it's a 10 second walk through the kitchen. Here's your bedroom, kitchen and bathroom. You know, there's 10 seconds from each other. So we have a nice little front deck and uh, so here's the tiny house. So do notice that it is tiny. It is a twin mattress. It measures 39 inches wide, the mattress. And we do have electricity now. We've got lights and a heater. The Wi-Fi work is excellent out here. Uh, there's a, uh, I'll just show you through the window. There's a beautiful little back deck off the back, looking out over the creek and the garden and the sunrise and of course my battery is dying so uh, that is the tiny house and so here is the trailer off to the side of the house so you can see it's a 30 second walk from the uh, bathroom this is an 18 foot uh, it's a 2008 Tada trailer, it's got a big front porch across the way. Wi-Fi works totally fine out here. Here is the view from uh, so now there is no plumbing in the in the camper, so we have a jug of water. You have a two-burner gas stove for your coffee. You have your own refrigerator. Yeah, a microwave oven above the refrigerator. Now this is a double bed in here that, uh, so it's 54 inches wide. 
got a little dining table. This folds down to into a single bed. <coughs> I do want to make the disclaimer, the ceiling height and the mattress length is 5 feet 10 inches. So if you are taller than 5 feet 10 inches, you will be bumping your head on the ceiling and you will not be able to stretch out uh, without going a little bit diagonal on the mattress. Okay. And it's got a screen door and a door. So as I say, so two burner stove, refrigerator, microwave. Uh, you know, it's a little bit more modern. You're certainly welcome to, uh, to use the community kitchen, but everyone as I say, we'll be sharing the bathroom. So that's the layout of the tiny house to the house and the camper. Now this whole area in here is all community. This picnic table, uh, the big fire ring. They got this nice screen house if the mosquitoes are a problem. You can uh, retreat to the screen house. But all of this is uh, community property. You have excellent Wi-Fi out here. Okay, I'm just gonna, and my battery might run out as we tour the campsite. So the closest campsite uh, to the house, this is called, we call it for obvious reasons, Creekside. So this one is, you don't have to climb a hill. Uh, it's all down in the lowlands. You know, you're one minute to the bathroom in the kitchen. Most people get Wi-Fi out here. I get Wi-Fi on my computer. I cannot promise that. Okay. So we're gonna go up to Pond View. I want to thank Rob for building this beautiful stairwell up to Pond View campsite. And uh, so it's easy to get up here now. So you're up here, and I don't know this area, eighth of an acre maybe, but it's a big wide area. Right now it's just a campsite. We're in the process of building a big screen house here. So in the summer of 2022, there's going to be a screen house right now. It is an open campsite that looks out over the pond. That's why we call it Pond View. Now, it's got a big fire ring and its own picnic table, a little barbecue grill. Now, I get internet fine up here. On my computer, I get Wi-Fi from the house, but a lot of people don't. I'm not promising you're gonna get Wi-Fi now the other, the uh, Piney Woods is, we could get to it in, in about one minute if you and a friend are, want two campsites, but we're gonna go the long way around. I just so you can see it from the beginning. So hopefully my, uh, my uh, video won't run out, but again, you, this is the best campsite for a large group. And the next campsite over is about a about a one minute walk that way if you go through the woods and of course creek side. You know, so you could have all three campsites. Uh, you're welcome to rent out the entire place if you have a large group. Uh, okay, so Again, just to give you an idea how long it takes to get from Pond View to uh, the uh, community area and the kitchen and the bathroom. So we're gonna start from the kitchen going up to Piney Woods. So again, here is the kitchen and the bathroom. So from here, you're gonna head out to the left and uh, so Piney Woods 
is our most popular campsite, but it's the farthest one. I mean, you have to work a little bit to get to it. So uh, you come back by the pond. There's fish in this pond. If you have kids who want to go fishing, that thing is full of fish. And we just ask that you throw them back. But there's plenty of fish in the pond. No swimming in the pond, please. As long as I'm here at the pond, this campsite right now is not completely developed. We don't have a picnic table, but this will also be a, uh, a campsite, pond side. Uh, this is also gonna be a campsite, so you would uh, you know, be camping right beside the pond. You should be able to get Wi-Fi from this campsite here. So you're welcome to camp there. There's just not a picnic table there now. If no one's in the trailer, you're welcome to borrow the picnic table that goes with the camper. All right, so now we're heading up the uh, path to what we call Piney Woods. And uh, now Piney Woods is the farthest from the house so there is no Wi-Fi up here. Uh, none of the campsites have uh, power or running water. So these are campsites. And uh, I would be shocked if you're going to get your Wi-Fi to uh, work here. So this is, you're up here in the White Pine Grove. So, uh, right now, this is a campsite with a tarp over it. See where these folks are camping. Now, we are going to be building a tiny house here. So, there will be a tiny house up here during uh, in the summer of 2022. But, as I say, this is our most popular campsite, and I might be building other camps. we got 14 acres here. I mean, you can camp anywhere you want to, but, you know, this site has its own picnic table, a nice big fire ring, a barbecue grill. So, uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed our little tour. I hope that answers some of your questions about what to expect at Bugs in a Jar Farm and just get in touch if you have any questions feel free to contact me and I will try to get back to you within a couple of hours but other than that happy trails come see us at Bugs in a Jar Farm we're shutting down on November 8th, 2021. So we're only open for another month. Then we're going to reopen on Memorial Day of 2022. We will uh, be having our grand reopening. So come see us. Don't forget your fishing pole. Bye, guys.